How to overcome anxiety? Anxiety is an enemy to us reaching our true potential and can be a hindrance to a truly happy existence. And only with intentional positive action and thought can we rid ourselves of its harmful effects. Anxiety is one of humanity's chinks in our proverbial armor. It's an illogical yet logical assumptive reaction that can manifest in the strangest of ways. Some liken it to fear, since it operates along the same lines, so we will discuss them together, fear and anxiety. Anxiety is a more potent enemy than fear. It feeds on our willingness to think outside of logic. First, anxiety and fear can be good. There are scenarios where fear is healthy and a needed cautionary prompt, but other times it can be a crippling factor that causes you to malfunction as a person, socially and otherwise. It can be a real bother, especially since it makes it difficult to properly navigate our daily lives. This is why we need to rid or reduce the effects of anxiety. Anxiety must be put under submission and fast before it wrecks irreparable damage. One way to do that is by cognitive intervention. This involves challenging the anxiety and the thoughts it generates with positive thoughts instead. So, when you are confronted by a negative thought, you respond with a positive one. For example, anxiety says you'll screw up a presentation, but instead of believing it, you respond with, I don't aim to impress but to touch lives with my words. And you'll feel a weight lift off your shoulders. Finding Lasting Solutions to the Plague of Anxiety Another method is identifying the motives behind every action you feel anxious about. This is tied into the determination and enthusiasm discussed earlier. When you discover the motives behind your intended action, all becomes clearer and easier for you. When you are worried about a performance, instead of focusing on your own competence, focus on the joy you're about to share with the audience, and you'll find it easier to do it. Focus on the satisfaction you'll get when you complete the task and watch the anxiety fade away. Anxiety sometimes stems from a low self-esteem, and this might arguably be the worst kind. This kind of anxiety isn't suggesting that you are afraid to do something. It tells you that you cannot and will not be able to. An inferiority complex is a real issue in our world today, and it affects quite a number of people, maybe even you. So how do you build up self-esteem? By first being honest with yourself. Anxiety and low self-esteem will always flood your mind with lies that might be believable, but are lies regardless. Being honest with oneself is accepting our strengths and weaknesses and working with them as they are. Self-deceit is a dangerous ally to seek shelter with. You must accept your strengths and weaknesses. The inferiority complex is wrong, but it keeps you under because you believe it. You must find the truth for yourself. You are capable of a lot of greatness, and you have the potential to do great things.